In the 1590s, Galileo began manufacturing his Compasso, a calculating device that revolutionized mathematics. Featuring several improvements on the original invention, Galileo's version was so successful that by 1606, he felt the need to assert his status as the de facto inventor of the Compasso. So he released a description of it called La Operazione del Campasso Geometrico et Militare, which he sold together with one of the instruments. The work prompted bitter academic arguments. A year later, Galileo's noted rival, Baldassare Capra, published Usus et Fabrica Cortini Quistam Proportionis, a Latin work in which Capra accused Galileo of having plagiarized the compass from a pre-existing model. Alarmed and outraged at this accusation, Galileo brought his case to authorities at the University of Padua. Not only did the tribunal agree that the claims of plagiarism were baseless, but Capra was also expelled, and it was decreed that all 483 copies of his book were to be destroyed. However, 30 copies of Capra's book had already been distributed, and the university was unable to retrieve them. So Galileo devised a new strategy to set the record straight. He would publish the Defesa, a formal presentation of his grievances containing testimonials on Galileo's behalf from the legal case against Capra. In the Defesa, Galileo suggests that the devil himself is working through Capra. He wrote, my old adversary and jealous enemy, and not just mine, but of all mankind, whose cutting and mendacious tongue is always ready to lacerate and tear all good men. Over four centuries later, the Defesa serves as both a scathing synopsis of the dispute and an insight into the character of the father of modern physics. Sotheby Sale of the Irwin Tomash Library offers a unique opportunity to own remarkably rare first editions of these three seminal mathematical texts. Thank you.